Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you a little secret and I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm going to. I have been buying up a lot of Mirage and it's been extremely profitable. Mirage is absolutely the perfect set. A lot of the cards have recently spiked. Um, political Trickery used to be five cents, now it's five bucks. Chaos Spear, Hall of Gemstones, I think it was has gone up a little bit. Reparations was a five cent card, now it's five bucks. And there is other cards down the list where they were bulk and now they are two to five dollars, which is very good. So why is this set so unique? It's because you can go to your local game store and every local game store, assuming they existed for that long, will have tons of Mirage cards. Now, many of them are not sorted by rarity because Mirage was before symbols. The majority of Magic players did not play during this time period and they are used to gold symbols or even mythic symbols and rare symbols. So they don't really take their time because you need a little bit of experience and you need to do research, which the average local game store employee is not going to go above and beyond to do it. Therefore, if you buy bulk, this is the bulk to buy. Um, there are uncommons worth more than $10. Uh, Enlightened Tutor and this tutor. This tutor was actually the cheapest of the bunch. Um, but, you know, what happened was it didn't get reprinted, right? They reprinted everything else minus this one. So the one that they didn't reprint goes up in price. Now, that being said, Ooh, it's only a matter of time before it gets a reprint, but this is in the uncommon slot. You have Enlightened, and then you also have Mystic, which are valuable. Now, be, beyond uncommons, I really do like the uncommons. This set has a lot of cards that recently went up in price, and most importantly, it has reserve list cards. So I'll answer two questions. I'll, um, number one, the set is quite valuable from a bulk standpoint where you can find these cards in bulk. You can find this tutor in bulk because a few years ago, it was bulk. Um, Enlightened tutor actually was more expensive than the green tutor, but times have changed, reprints have happened. You are unlikely to find an Enlightened tutor. You're more likely to find a green tutor, which is actually worth more. And you're very unlikely to find a mystic tutor because that was very good when it was in standard, that was the probably the best tutor um, before EDH. So at your local game store, they probably have a 5,000 count. My local game store has a 5,000 count of Miraz. There are a lot of valuable reserve list cards in that set. Um, when I mean valuable, I mean just owning reserve list cards is worth it. So I don't even need to know what cards are in that bulk. But I will. I do know that they probably did not sort it correctly. There's probably rares on the reserve list. That pirate card was, and the majority of these cards, if I went two years back, were worthless. Like, there's only a few of them, like Mystic Tutor. Everyone knows Mystic Tutor, you should take out Mystic Tutor. But after Mystic Tutor, um, Enlightened Tutor, and the Green Tutor, the next few cards I'm going to show you I think you can still find in bulk, but rather than kind of pick and choose because that might encourage someone to price check it, I would just make an offer on all the bulk of Mirage. Um, I would not go on Visions. I would not go on any other set except this one. It's the perfect storm of reserve list cards that are like very bad, but like could be one day played. And the fact that it's old and the fact it doesn't have a gold symbol or a silver or black symbol. And the fact that it's unlikely that the local game store employee will know that, about this set at all. It's too old. And the fact that it's not so old. Like even unlimited and revised are really like trending up in price. Uh, just regular cards, not dual lands obviously and not power nine, but even regular cards. Uh, and people know that. Um, people are well aware, if they work at a store, that a random Arabian Night card could be worth some money. They are not aware that Mirage cards are worth money. This Teffy Isle, you can take a look at it. Pennies. Now it's about 
Mm, it says seven bucks, but let's say it's four bucks. Four bucks from a penny is really good. Like this card sucked. Then one day, you know, it's on. I'm pretty sure it's on the reserve list. Um, there is a s trend going on. So you're not going to be able to buy the Legends, the Arabian Nights. That's going to be really difficult. Um, unless the store owner and slash manager is really bad at magic, they're going to realize, oh, everything in this set is valuable. Maraz, however, is the next to go. And I've seen it. You know, this card again, worthless, and now it's worth money. Like, if you went back, this would be absolutely in bulk. Not, I'm not talking bulk rares. I'm talking bulk commons. This card would be sitting next to a bulk common. I have fed off this set for a long time. And I've been very happy with it. I don't sell. I don't trade. And I just collect. And it's been a great collector set because every time I look at it, it goes up in price. Oh, so-and-so card went up in price. I wonder how many copies of this. Harbringer of the Night. Um, all these cards that... From this set this has got to be the best set for bulk i've ever seen because of now you there are better sets in value but people know that and those are not and those cards have always been valuable like if you took a random legend card you kind of know that it's valuable if you took a random mirage card like the sakura endbringer look at the chart on this thing it was like flatlined forever right it, it was not great. I mean, it's still not amazing today, but it's okay. I'm I'm pretty sure this is also on the reserve list. There are still really good opportunities in MTG Finance. It's just that no one's going to tell you about them because it would be very foolish for people to tell you. Like me, right? Um... Miraz is a wonderful set, and you can buy it on Craigslist, you can buy it on eBay, you can buy it in bulk. I see it everywhere, and it makes no sense because I know in a $5,000 bulk, you will find some of these. You will find some Shimmers, you will find some Reparations, you will find some Tolarian or Tol Tolarak. You will find some Chaos Spirits. Like, until recently, these cards were worth $0.05. Cents. And now about 20 of them have are between 2 to $5. That's amazing. Like, you don't see that in any recent set. Like, Hour of Their Station, you don't. And, of course, you have Lion's Eye Diamond. Not, so people are going to pull Lion's Eye Diamond. They're going to pull the tutors. That's pretty obvious. But they're not going to pull the rest of the cards I'm showing you. It's just not. These cards, what happened was a long time ago, um, these cards were not good. Not even a long time ago. Until recently, these cards were no good. And then people just put them in. Instead of sorting them by rarity, because it takes more time and takes more effort, and the employees you know, probably being paid minimal wage, they're just going to put it in bulk. So these cards are sitting there, and they've accumulated a vast amount of value recently due to reserve list buyouts and just cards being semi-playable. Every card store, unless someone has bought them out already, during this time period, they would be happy to sell you these because to them, it's just sat in a box and there's no reason, um, there's absolutely no, no one would think that this card reparation is valuable. Like, who would think this card is between 2 to $4? No, but it is. It is. And the the question about how liquid these cards are, don't worry about that right now. Um, I, I, you, I know I always focus on how liquid a card is, but when you're buying into bulk and the bulk keeps like climbing and climbing and climbing and there's no end to it, right? There's no end to this. I can tell you, I don't... Tele Torrid Attic... This card was bulk the other day, and then I look up and it's two to four dollars again. I was like, "What? What happened here?" Uh, these cards are not good, but they don't need to be. And Miraz is full of these grayers that are like exactly like this edic, where it's five cents today, two dollars tomorrow, and maybe you can sell for one dollar down the road. You can still get this today. 
So MTG Finance is not about buying literally on an avail and hoping to see goes up $5 so you lose $50 on the buy list. It's about this. It's very simple. This is my secret. There's money to be made. Anyway, bye guys. Or I want to be opening a store, right? Like I'm doing this at volume. Bye guys.